The Big Five is an old term used by trophy hunters in Africa for the five most prized animals to shoot and kill. They are the elephant, rhino, leopard, cape buffalo and the lion. But the new Big Five wildlife photography initiative is looking to shoot the animals to save them instead. British photographer Graham Greene started the project to raise awareness about the crisis facing the world's wildlife. And he hopes to make the list of the five most fantastic creatures to capture on camera. Well, Graham Green joins me now. Hello to you, Graham. Just tell us where this idea for a new Big Five came from for you. It came to me about 10 years ago, actually. I've been having the idea in my mind for quite a while. I was in Botswana. I was on assignment. And I heard people talk about shooting, you know, shooting a camera. And it made me think about that link, really, between shooting with a camera and shooting with a gun. To me, trophy hunting is a really... It's an outdated thing. It's meaningless to most people. I think it's quite cruel in most people's eyes. And then you've got photography, on the other hand, which is just an incredible way to celebrate wildlife and to also be a force for good in terms of communicating, A, how much beauty there is out in the world, but also some of the issues and the challenges that animals are facing at the moment. And so in order to draw up this new Big Five, how did you go about it? So it's been quite a big project. I started about a year and a half ago. We set up a website especially for it, and we invited people from around the world to vote for the five animals that they wanted to be included. So we had a thing on our website, which is newbig5.com, and people could basically just tick a box next to the five animals that they wanted to be included and submit the vote. But more than just that, so we had, we had about 50,000 people, I think, vote in the end. But more than just that voting, we really developed the website as a bit of a, a hub for people. We developed all these articles and interviews and photo galleries really as a resource to cover things like habitat loss or poaching, the illegal wildlife trade and climate change. So it's really become this centre for people beyond just the vote, which is really exciting. It's a way to get people involved in the idea. Um, we really wanted it to be a resource and to cover some of these serious issues and some of the solutions. Yeah, and, and we've just been looking at some of the incredible images there. So the new big five of wildlife photography are the elephant, the polar bear, gorilla, tiger and lion. So there's some overlap, the elephant and lion, from the original list, but some others on the new list. That's right, there is a little bit of overlap. I mean, it's, it's purely based on what people, we set the question, what are your favorite animals to photograph or to see in photos? So it really is a, a new big five of wildlife photography. There is some overlap because I think animals like elephants and lions have always fascinated people. The big important difference here is that it's, people are fascinated by their beauty, by their character. I mean, elephants are intelligent, emotional animals. Lions are these sort of, you know, powerful, regal animals. People are fascinated by them for their beauty and their character, not by how difficult it is to shoot and kill them, which is the main difference, um, I think. Do you have a personal favourite, a personal number one in that list, Graham? The, uh, the, the top left corner of my shoulder probably gives a bit of a clue to that. <laughs> yes, so, yes, uh, it does. <laughs> I, um, I'm a huge fan of lions. I have been for at least 15 years, you know, since I first saw them in the Maasai Mara. Um, and one of the things with the project is, I mean, I, I love them because of how they look. They're fascinating to watch as well. But one thing we've really tried to do is, is get these messages across that aren't really got across all the time. Lions are so ubiquitous in our culture. They're in our films. They're in our, you know, our TV. They're in our sports teams. So lions, everyone thinks are doing really well. We see them a lot in photographs. But lions are actually facing a massive threat. They've declined hugely in the last 25 years. They've lost almost 92, 93% of their, their territory, their, their historic range. And people don't know that. So that's what we really wanted to do with the project, get people engaged, get people excited about this vote and this new Big Five idea. But through that and through all the photo galleries and the interviews and the articles we run on the website, really try and get those messages across because now's the time to act on these things. We're really losing these animals at a very, very fast pace. Yeah, and, and every one of those species in that new Big Five list facing severe threats to their existence. That's right. I mean, this is the worrying thing. So all of them are listed on the IUCN, which is the kind of, you know, the main, the main list. Um, they're, they're all classified either as endangered, critically endangered or vulnerable. So they're all declining. Many of them, actually, gorillas are, are kind of on the up a little bit, thanks to conservation efforts, but the rest are in serious problems. 
And we, that's the worrying thing. These are the five most popular animals in the world, according to our vote. And it's very worrying that if these are the ones that we really care about and that the public love, that there's so many species that maybe don't get the attention, uh, that, that we don't even know about really that are facing huge threats. So we really tried to hammer home this message that from bees to blue whales to insects to fish, you know, whatever it is, every species really matters. And, uh, and many of them, I mean, a one, one million species are at risk of extinction. So we really do need some urgent action on this. Otherwise, we are going to lose not only the creatures that we really love and care about, but all these incredible species of birds and fish and insects, uh, which we can't afford to lose, not for their sake, but also not for ours. Our, our planet depends on them. Graham, thanks very much indeed. And thank you for sharing those incredible images uh, with us. There was a, a lot of cooing when we saw the picture of that baby polar bear there as well. And um, Graham Green, thank you very much. This is Sky thank News. You. Lots more coming up in the next hour here.